been good pay. Thanks back for getting in contact of Mike Douglas. Uh, I think that would be great. Right. The love sign from the great. I'll come back in a few years. Thank you for all the time. Mm -hmm. And she's got a family photo. And, uh, you know, it's just a good idea, a great idea. Uh, and again, hey, I just, I just love such a sport. Love living here. And, and life's good at such a sport. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Councilman Goins, maybe? <laughs> maybe. Well, they changed the order, so I'm not sure. Okay. Well, Chuck has uh, put out a dealer to try to get volunteers for the Parks and Trails Committee active, and I've seen the copies of people responding, and so there's already about a dozen people that have expressed an interest. Hopefully, this committee will meet soon, and hopefully they will do things and not just talk about them. You know, we've had a talk before about uh, bicycle um, trails to the Pam. I think uh, Pam, you and I have talked about bicycle rental that could be uh, instituted and people could uh, rent bicycles to go from Kroger's to Daphne and back uh, plus wherever else. Uh, so this can be done. Uh, I'd like to see more trees. Uh, unfortunately, plant trees for your grandchildren and not for yourself. So if we plant them, we're never going to see them. But hopefully, there will be enough uh, done to where people in the future will do it. I particularly like to see ornamental uh, flowering shrubs. You know, dog woods, I like dog woods, but more variety also. And hopefully, this sort of thing will be done and done soon. Um, you answered one of my comments was going to be uh, bathroom repairs, fire department, or anything like that. You know, that's just been a fiasco, and it's been almost a half a year to or, or more, and nothing has resulted other than a couple of portageons outside the uh, armory. So I'd like to see those things done. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that we can't talk about that may be happening in the forest. You mentioned the couple that has um, rented the Harvey building and is going to put something in that building. I'm glad that we held off and did not put a source. I think, I, I think the other building was happy that you got a lot of yeah, because imagine if, if we had put the storage unit in there, she wouldn't, they wouldn't have come. I don't know how many employees they're likely to have, but at least a few. And uh, I would like to see, you know, things open up. The used cars dealership, the other buildings, are still empty buildings downtown. Somebody has an idea of what they want to do with it, go at it. Thank you. Councilman Smith. Yes. It's good to see all of you here. Thank you for coming. Appreciate you coming. I'm in a thank you mood today. Today's been a wonderful day for me. I'd like to thank everybody that works for Clifton Ford and showed up every day to work and did the job. The bills were collected. The bills were done properly. Uh, the police, public works, everything else was kept up. The library. I called up there, I called up there were 20 books from my grandkids, trying to pick them up, and get read them, I take them back after I went after somebody went them down. Clifton Ford is a wonderful place. I love being here. I hope over the next year, as long as I'm on town council, we learn to get along a little better with each other and respect each other. Not tacitly, but really mean it toward each other. I'd like to thank the businesses that stayed open. Because as Leanne has told me a number of times, 
the meals tax money has saved us and put us in the position we're in now. It is the best budget I have seen since I've been in Clifton Forge. It's also, we have rainy day fund of $70,000. We never came close to that in the past few years. Things are looking good for us. And it's, we can take some credit for it, but it's not us. It's you guys, the people who do their jobs, and the people who work. Clifton Forge is gonna to continue to grow. We just had our ups and downs. I'd like to see something done with Pizza Hut. But I found out how much they want to rent Pizza Hut for a month. They're not where nothing's ever going to be. Can I say how much they want? Domino's is going in there. They're in Judge Nation. They have five of them at least. But they are in negotiation right now. Yeah. And yeah, you can say whatever. The first, the first asking to rent the building was $13,000 a month. That's what, the, that's what Domino's kind of said. But it's good. But it's good. It's good. It's all going to get better. But we have to trust each other and believe in each other. And I have a question I want to ask Chuck and our lawyer. If we cannot send out bids and get somebody to do it, so we have the owners to get anybody to do it? Without getting 20 to 30 bids? I didn't mean to step in front of you, but the, the problem that we run into is the contractors are overworked. You know, the, the folks that need to be stacked. Just about everybody, we talked to every contractor in the area except Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf obviously is out of the line because he's on the Force Town Council. Uh, they're too busy. You know, it's going to be October, November, maybe even some of them in the next year. And I've had three contractors look at the jobs and say, we're not bidding on it because we're afraid we'll get the contract. Yeah. You heard that. Jeff, you heard why I'm saying that. Yeah. And they said, this, we're not we're not bidding on this mess. We're afraid we'll get the contract. And this is going to take way more time than we can get paid for. So it, that's where we are. No, I understand. For the past right. 18 months of the COVID, everybody's breaking rules. That's why they were busy because of COVID, right? People had a lot of touches, faucets, and a lot of contract work during the COVID. Yep. All right, thank you, sir. That's okay. Uh, Mayor, Mr. Wolf, most of that statement. There's been a contract in business for years, man. And I'm going to tell them every two days, I can't rely on most of them don't want to be tied up in court. Because going and court and testifying against the previous contract. I've had over the years for that specific reason is there's a there's a kind of a Why we aren't getting any contract bill. They don't they don't want to be involved in court. I never thought of it. Thank you for sharing that one. Yeah. It it's does it's make a sense. big deal. It's a big deal. So alright. Sorry, Harper on that. Thank you. Vice Mayor Herman. Yeah. Yeah, Vice Mayor. I'd like to thank everyone for coming tonight. It's been great to see live people for a change. I thought we'd read the horrible cut out for a while, but I'm glad I'm right here tonight. I'd like to thank the Historic Theater for the summer movies that me and Chuck and all the kids and the people went to Sunday. Uh, I had a great time. I've seen the movie, but I still you know, had a great time with the kids coming through and, and the older ones saying, I remember when I was a kid, we came to this theater and it was just a good time. And this Sunday at ET, a lot more cut out. I'd like to thank Chuck and the finance department for a great job on this year's budget. And it's not enough being seen, I mean, they did a wonderful job for what we went through in this year's budget. I want to thank y'all and the finance department. Uh, I read this in Chief Wickline's uh, report, and it kind of stuck out on me and grabbed me. I'd like to thank him and his department 
we're carrying over no cases from, from Gulf Pass to this point. That's very, that's unheard of. I'd like to thank you and your department, Chief Work Lab. Uh, thanks to Chuck again on his work to hit the sinkhole fix. I know that was a big problem. Everybody's complaining about going around and coming around. Now on Facebook, people still going around and coming around and they just got in the habit, I guess. And uh, thank you too for, I know you got a lot to do with friends and business and the work you be able to get them in here. And I appreciate what you've done. Thank everyone. Everybody has to safe and God bless you this, this long. Thank you. I'd like to thank you all for coming out. Thank you, Reverend Brokaw, for your invocation. Um, this is our first live meeting over a year. So thank you for ushering us back into session. And thank you all for being here. Chief Wickline, fresh from your vacation. Thank you for being here. Um, I just want to, I do have quickly some comments. I want to give the kudos to Mark Dobbs. He made the newspaper ask Mary for all of his work. Um, he got a big kudos, so I'd like to add mine to that. Um, I just want to tell you guys, Clifton Ford is on its way to being busy again. Um, the market is going on, the downtown market is happening. You see these upcoming events in your agenda packet. Um, Chuck and I also talked to a potential investor, um, a professional football player with ties to Clifton Forge. He wanted to know what we needed and he wanted to make it happen. So hopefully that's coming. We also have a new nail salon opening on June 15th, Lady Light, next to Libby's Closet or for the old heads, Tingler's Jewelry Store. The old Tingler's Jewelry Store. Um, uh, we talked about the movies during the month, the Flag Day. Um, we do have another Juneteenth event in addition to the NAACP one in Covington. There will be one in Clifton Forge at the Masonic Theater. Um, that's being put on by the Commission on Racial Equality. Um, so that will be a movie followed by a question and answer session with the writer of that movie. Um, also, I just want to mention the Covington Delivery Service because we don't have one here and the young man said he'd be glad to come down and do some deliveries at Clifton Forge. He will pick up your medicine, he'll go to the grocery store and his number is 540-958-6020. And uh, also I just wanted to say on the news before I came, I saw where the COVID deaths have doubled in the Allegheny region in the last week. So I want you to still be mindful, even though we're opening up, still be mindful of hygiene, face covering, and we, not everybody's been vaccinated, so just be safe as we move open and we open up. So thank you all very much. Have a good, good evening.